Welcome back to the garage. Got another project. Um, as you can see, Miss Rebecca had a little accident in the rain the other day. I've already taken the uh, the bumper and the reinforcement off, but I'm going to take uh, take a better look at it and see if we want to repair it or if we're going to just sell it or what we're going to do. So I'm going to take the core support out and look at the radiator and the uh, headlights and see what all's broken inside here and uh, try to get an estimate of how much we're going to have to spend on it and then decide from there if we're going to fix it or not. So let's get started. That's what the bumper and the bumper reinforcement look like. Reinforcements busted up pretty bad. As you can see the core supports pushed in pretty good right here and uh, all of its components is broke. The condenser is pushed in and bent but it hasn't let go of the Freon yet and uh, looks like there's some coolant down there on the ground so looks like the radiator is going to be busted so let's uh, get some of these parts off and see what we're going to need to to get this thing fixed. Didn't mention it yet, but this car is a 06 Hyundai, and it only has 108,000 miles on it. You okay? Yeah, but I can edit it out. Got the core support loose. Now I just need to get the radiator loose from the core support so I can get just the core support off and leave the radiator in there. Upper radiator supports out. And see down here we're definitely dripping coolant so we're going to need a radiator it's a small leak but still a leak and it's bent too bad to fix anyway there's a dent in the cradle here we need to get underneath and look and see how bad that's hurting anything if it's hurting anything at all um, fender on both sides looks good. Um, you see the fan and everything's pushed into the engine. Fender on this side's good. Frame rails are okay. This one's bent, but it can be straightened. The actual frame is okay.
Hey, buddy. Once again, here's the dent in the cradle. You can see coolant leaking. Under the vehicle, we have a lot of dirt and debris, but the oil pan's in good shape. The rest of the cradle is okay. I don't see any problems under the vehicle. Now what I'm going to do is measure an X pattern across the hood. That way I can see if the, the front end has been pushed one way or the other. And uh, what I'm going to do is measure the from the farthest bolt forward to the farthest bolt back on the other side. Do an X pattern and it should measure the same. If it's off one way or the other, then your measurements are going to be off. So let's see. And you really need a stick to do this with and not a tape measure. I'll do the best I can. About 64 inches that way. And 64 that way. So it should be square. There you go. Runs good. Like I said, it only has 108,000 miles on it. And the interior on it's in perfect condition. So after looking at this thing, I know we need radiator, core support, uh, condenser, bumper, reinforcement, and a hood. Um, possibly some headlights. The headlights looked okay, but we'll probably replace them. And I think I think we're going to fix it. Uh, looking at parts prices, hadn't looked at the radiator and condenser, but a bumper cover is about 90 bucks. The hood's about 250 dollars. And core support, I think it was about 150. So based on those prices, if the radiator and the condenser aren't too expensive, I'll probably go ahead and fix it. Um, it's a very good car. I wouldn't. I really don't want to scrap it. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.